All right, we're just on our way out of uh, Iron Knob. Um, kind of strange place. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah. Like, it was um, kind of depressing. Like a lot of like houses just kind of looked like scrapyards. Um, in fact, the whole town sort of looked like a scrapyard. But the people were really nice. Um, we stayed at the KFC, we chatted to some nice guys there. And what was it you had to say? It's community run. Yeah, um, so Iron Knob is one of many towns that was on the verge of closing. Um, so they have a free campsite here to open it up to visitors. And the town's care is all done by volunteers, which I think is really cool. Or like trash collection and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, everything. The whole town. Yep, the whole town is basically run by volunteers. Yeah, so at first, at first glance, it does look kind of dirty and depressing, but then you realize the whole place is run by volunteers, and that's kind of cool. Yeah. It's pretty cute. All right, let's go. No, not, not Tina Turner, it's not the shares in that one. Um, anyway, yeah, we stopped in this uh, it's a sheep station, I it's guess. A, yeah, it's a sheep shearing station. It's but, active every March. Yeah, but they've put like a retreat here, there's a caravan park, there's like cabins and stuff, and it's awesome. Like you're, you're eating dinner in the old sheep shearing shed. It's like really cool. <laughs> Port Augusta wins the award for the least bike friendly city I have ever been to. It's absolutely hell. However, small gem in the rough. Uh, we've actually managed to find a bike, lo bike lane. I mean, it's still a madly uncomfortable bike lane, but it's a bike lane. Okay, the sun is setting and it appears those mountains we've been looking at all day we're gonna have to climb up because uh, we've still got another 20k to go and I can't see 20k ahead of me before we hit that mountain so this is gonna be a fun end to the day